Hello. So we are back, yeah? First day. Very hot outside. And if you remember this laptop, probably will be a part one there. Three weeks ago, we diagnosed this with a dead uh, power management chip. We ordered the chip exactly three weeks, so the chip arrived. So from China here, three weeks. The problem is I have a bad memory, I don't really remember what we did on this one. But I remember that chip was dead, was shorted on the 3.3 volts power rail which was going to the Super I.O. That's what I remember. So anyway, let's replace this chip and let's see if, if it's right or not. Yeah, that's, that's what I remember. That, that's the reason why I ordered the chip. I know I have a video on this computer with the first part. But... You know... I think I was pretty accurate based on the fact when I applied with the power supply 3.3 volts on that power rail, the chip was getting hot. That's what I remember. So I would say, you know what, let's just replace the chip, and if it's not working, let's go from there. But first, let's, let's replace that chip. What chip is? I think I write somewhere, CD3301B. That's the chip. And the chip, I think, is that one. Let me power up the microscope. Uh, give me one second. Okay. Yeah, Diana, it's off today. It's with my daughter for some dental thing. Yeah, that's the chip. That's the chip. CD3301B. Okay, let's replace this one quickly and let's see if it's working. It should be. No, it was pretty clear the fault, but you know what? I can't be wrong. Like I seen some laptops with Super I/O, 1.8 volts. You know, so if you have a power rail 1.8 volts and you come with 3.3, you know, so something will get hot, and it will not get hot. The super I, let's say the super I, so a 1.8 volts, it'll get hot. The power supply, or like in this case, power management chip, which probably has a protection against high voltage, and yeah, that protection will get hot. It's like a center diode, you have a center diode. If you put a center diode, the center diode will get hot, and but nothing else will get, will get burned on that power rail. So, uh who knows? Who knows? I don't think so. I think it's a standard 3.3 volts. Okay, I need the chip position. I think the chip position here is like that. Okay, let's get the chip out. The chip it's out. Let's put back the new one. Let 
No, we don't have to clean anything. We have solder there, we have flux. What what I will do, I will lower the temperature a bit. Let's see. Let's say 360, 370. 370 should be fine. What do you think? Huh? Fine or not? It's not fine, we need a little bit more flux. And maybe, maybe we'll be fine after that. Huh? What do you think? I think it's like new, you know? Yeah, I think we are ready to test the board. See if it's working. If I remember, the first video was long. Because the board is new, it's not something like you will see on every day. I remember the diagnosis was hard on this one. So I'm just curious. We have the screen. We have the charging port. If it's not working, we'll have a big problem. Because I have to start again and figure it out the circuit. Yeah. So where is the power? The power button probably is on a keyboard, yeah? Keyboard here, touchpad here. This is the MacBook style, the keyboard is coming on the touchpad and from the touchpad you have one ribbon cable only. Okay, that's all. The BIOS, we don't need BIOS. Battery. Heatsink, you think we need heatsink? No, let's see if it's coming on. That's more important. See if the laptop is coming on. Still hot? A bit, but not too much. Okay, let's plug the charger. The charger is plugged. You think it's coming on? It is on. We have the power on light. Okay, let's stop quickly. Let's put the heat sink. Let's put the heat sink temporarily because I want to replace the thermal paste also. And I put all the screws here. But that's good news. Actually having power, having light on the power button, you know the LED on, that's mean my 3.3 volts power rail is working fine. Which is fantastic, that means I was right. But if I remember, it was quite hard to diagnose this in the right way. So you see? You have to believe in yourself, yeah? So even if the laptop is different, you still have to carry on and try to figure it out. Okay. Fun is plugged, everything is plugged. Let's see if we have picture. It's no hard drive, we don't need hard drive. It's on, because I can see the light there. Well, no picture. Okay. Okay. That's new. Oh, 
power goes off comes back on but still no picture okay that's not good that's not good Do we have RAM memory? Yeah, we do have RAM memory. Okay. I don't think we need hard drive. No. The screen connector, it is plugged in. Let's plug the BIOS uh, battery. It's on. Okay, so we have a second fault. Oh, I hate this, you know. You fix something and you find something else. So, what's the problem now? There's no picture, there's no backlight. Wait, backlight keyboard uh, just come on and goes off. Backlight keyboard is on and the screen is on. Okay, I suppose that's Dell, you know. The Dell, Dell are, are, are quite crazy when you reset the bias. It's working. Oh, I'm so happy, you know, I was, I was not prepared for a second fault. I was not prepared for a second fault. Uh, what is saying on the screen? I don't know. F5? What is F5? It's working. We should, yeah, it's looking for the hard drive to boot from the hard drive. But it looks like it's fixed. So in this video, there's not much what we can learn. But I think on the first one, with the diagnose, uh, yeah, was uh, more complicated. I remember it was quite a headache, this, uh, this one, because the, the 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 power the main power rail was not like it's on the other laptops. I think it's something else. I have a bad memory, bad memory. But I will check. I will check myself the first video to see exactly how do we get on this chip because obviously the chip was burned. Yeah, this one. But I'm happy it's, it's fixed. This uh, this is not like a normal customer laptop. It's a laptop from uh, another f uh, computer shop. Yeah, the fan is not spinning because the processor is not hot enough. But I suppose if we are heating the processor with the hot air, the fan will start. What do you think? Yeah, and the fan starts. So the fan is good. But obviously when the processor is not hot, it will not start. Anyway, I will stop this video because there's no point. The laptop is working. And uh, what I can say, just have a great weekend. Uh,
probably I will upload not very often because the holidays are coming. Uh, I will have like one week, two weeks holiday. Nothing, nothing weird, nothing special, just chilling home. And uh, what can I say? Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one, yeah? Bye.